Hey guys, it's me here. And it's Zach again. And this is going to be the second tutorial in uh, making a maze game. And so in this tutorial we're going to show you how to make walls uh, so that you can actually make your maze. Um, on the right here we have the agenda of what we're going to be taking you through. Uh, first of all we're going to see what you're going to make by the end of this tutorial. And you're going to create a wall, and you're going to place it in the level, and you're going to make sure that it blocks the player so the player can't move past it. So let's do number one right now. Let's see what we're going to make. So I'm going to run it. So I'm going to play the game here, and I'm going to hold down right, I move down right, and I stop when I hit the wall. So I can move freely through the open spaces, move up here, can move here, but I can't move through walls. So looks like we can create some cool mazes with this. Awesome. So we're done with that. We're going to tick this off because we're done. The next step is create a wall. Uh, so let's go back to where we were, where we left off last time. here and here as you can see in sprites we have the player sprite, player object and room one. So let's continue. Uh, for creating a wall we're going to create the sprite for it. So we're going to create sprite. We're going to name it of course spr underscore wall and uh, I'm going to load the sprite. The wall's all the way at the bottom. There we go. Wall.png. We're going to uncheck precise collision checking and uh, click OK and now we're done with that part. We're going to create an object. I'm going to name it OBJ wall. So now we have two things called wall except one's called OBJ and one's called SPR so you know the difference. Uh, that's absolutely right. We're going to make sure it's solid uh, because we don't want anything to pass through it and we're going to click OK. And uh, we're done with that step. And well we, we have our wall. So let's go to number three which is place wall and level. We'll open room one. We just kind of have our lonely teddy bear. But um, let's place some walls. So right now if you notice I'm going to place a couple of wall objects but I can kind of place in these awkward positions uh, that look kind of bad. Um, and that's because it doesn't force me to make sure that they're aligned. So if you open up SPR wall, you can notice that the wall image is 32 by 32 pixels, that's the dimensions. Um, and so if you want the grid to be that size, we can go in the room, there's snap X and snap Y, they're set to 16, we're going to change them to 32 respectively. And now the walls have to be placed in this, in this grid, so it's a lot cleaner. But it looks like our player character is right in between two grid spaces. Can that's you do anything correct. about that? So yeah, let's get, let's get them out of there, right? Uh, so we can right click on him to get to get rid of it and boom it goes away um, Let's place a new one right there and let's create a little maze. I'm going to hold shift and uh, click down to create you know, a little maze thing right now. So uh, we've done both of these right now. We've set the grid to 32 by 32 and we've made a little maze. So uh, cool. Let's let's run it and just kind of see what happens. So I'm going to hold down. I'm moving through. Oh, it just looks like I just went through the walls. Oh, yeah. It's because we haven't actually told Game Maker that the player should stop moving when it hits a wall. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, so we gotta make sure the wall blocks the player. The way we do that is we open up the player object, we add an event. Um, this one's gonna be a collision because we want it so that the player collides with the wall. Uh, so select OBJ wall. And then we want it that the player should stop. So we did, this is the same thing that we already did with no key. So if you notice, they have the exact same actions. We're gonna click OK. And uh, we're gonna run it again and see what happens. So this time I shouldn't go through the walls. Hopefully. Let's see. So I'm pressing down and holding down and I'm not going through the wall. And I'm holding left. I'm moving through. Oh, it looks like I can go through some of the open spaces pretty well. Can't go through any of the walls. But right here I'm trying to move into this space but I can't get in. 
Yeah, it's a weird little issue, and uh, stick around because we're going to cover that in the next topic, uh, in the next tutorial. So, uh, see you then. Enjoy working on your game. Ask your teacher for any help. And remember to uh, always save your game.